Lesson 194 in A Course in Miracles I place the future in the hands of God Today's idea takes another step towards quick salvation and a giant stride it is indeed So great the distance is that it encompasses It sets you down just short of heaven with the goal in sight and obstacles behind Your foot has reached the lawns that welcome you to heaven's gate the quiet place of peace where you await in certainty the final step of God. How far are we progressing now from earth? How close are we approaching to our goal? How short the journey still to be pursued? Accept today's idea and you have passed all anxiety, all pits of hell, all blackness of depression, thoughts of sin and devastation brought about by guilt. Accept today's idea and you have released the world from all imprisonment by loosening the heavy chains that lock the door to freedom on it. You are saved and your salvation thus becomes the gift you give the world because you have received. In no one instant is depression felt or pain experienced or loss perceived. In no one instant sorrow can be set upon a throne and worshipped faithfully. In no one instant can one even die. And so each instant given unto God in passing, with the next one given him already, is a time of your release from sadness, pain, and even death itself. God holds your future as he holds your past and present. They are one to him, and so they should be one to you. Yet in this world the temporal progression still seems real and so you are not asked to understand the lack of sequence really found in time. You are but asked to let the future go and place it in God's hands. And you will see by your experience that you have laid the past and present in his hands as well because the past will punish you no more and future dread will now be meaningless. Release the future for the past is gone, and what is present, freed from its bequest of grief and misery, of pain and loss, becomes the instant in which time escapes the bondage of illusions, where it runs its pitiless, inevitable course. Then is each instant which was slave to time transformed into a holy instant, when the light that was kept hidden in God's Son is freed to bless the world. Now is he free, and all his glory shines upon a world made free with him to share his holiness. If you can see the lesson for today as the deliverance it really is, you will not hesitate to give as much consistent effort as you can to make it be a part of you. As it becomes a thought that rules your mind, a habit in your problem-solving repertoire, a way of quick reaction to temptation, you extend your learning to the world, and as you learn to see salvation in all things, so will the world perceive that it is saved. What worry can beset the one who gives his future to the loving hands of God? What can he suffer? What can cause him pain or bring experience of loss to him? What can he fear? And what can he regard except with love? For he who has escaped all fear of future pain has found his way to present peace and certainty of care the world can never threaten. He is sure that his perception may be faulty, but will never lack correction. He is free to choose again when he has been deceived, to change his mind when he has made mistakes. Place then your future in the hands of God for thus you call the memory of him to come again, replacing all your thoughts of sin and evil with the truth of love. Think you the world could fail to gain thereby, and every living creature not respond with healed perception? Who entrusts himself to God, has also placed the world within the hands to which he has himself appealed for comfort and security. He lays aside the sick illusions of the world along with his, and offers peace to both. Now are we saved indeed. 
for in God's hands we rest untroubled, sure that only good can come to us. If we forget, we will be gently reassured. If we accept an unforgiving thought, it will be soon replaced by love's reflection. And if we are tempted to attack, we will appeal to him who guards our rest to make the choice for us that leaves temptation far behind. No longer is the world our enemy, for we have chosen that we be its friend. Close your eyes upon the world. I place the future in the hands of God. These are far more than words. This is a state. This is a recognition. This is a knowing that everything you have is his and everything that he has is yours. God has never kept anything from you. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Herein lies your redemption. Place the future in the hands of God now. I place the future in the hands of God. Place the future then in the hands of God, for thus you call the memory of him to come again, replacing all your thoughts of sin and evil with the truth. I place the future in the hands of God. All the world would gain, and every living creature, everything, would respond with healed perception. Who entrusts himself to God has also placed the world within the hands to which he has himself appealed for comfort and security. Imagine that now you're giving the entire world and yourself, this body, this person, all its wants, all its desires, all its needs, everything. Place it in the hands of God. Even imagine it, you're giving everything over to God. Lay aside all the sick illusions of the world and offer peace to yourself and everyone. 
I place the future in the hands of God. These are not just words, this is a tool in your toolbox. Whenever you worry or fear any thoughts of future, any thoughts of pain that might even affect your future, sometimes you have a thought of a physical pain and there's the unconscious belief this may lead to something else. In that moment, I place the future in the hands of God or any thought of harm not achieving what you want in this life, I place the future in the hands of God. Bring it into your heart. Imagine handing it over. And just watch, observe, and rest in the peace of God. Let it be shined away. And you will realize where your happiness and your peace really is. Not in some future outcome or result. It will be delivered instantly because it's yours already. I place the future in the hands of God. What worry can come when you place the future in the hands of God? How can you suffer? What could cause you pain or bring a loss to you? What can you fear? You are giving everything over to love, knowing that you will receive love and peace and the thing that you really want in return. It's not the outcome or the situation, or the response from someone else, or for them to give you something, the world to give you something you think you need, whether that's a person, a situation, receiving something back, you have everything within you now, the love of God is within you now, just waiting for you to give up all your needs to Him. I place the future in the hands of God. Present peace and joy is your reward.
You think of time in terms of past and future and present. But this doesn't exist in reality. This is just a made up concept in your mind. And giving over the future, which is so important to the human being. You're really giving up your belief and thus accepting your reality. You are entrusting your life to love now and the past will punish you no more and future dread will now be meaningless. You no longer want to imprison the world with your future thoughts that are not given. You are released from imprisonment now. I place the future in the hands of God. Heaven is here and now, not in some future time, you are already at the gates of heaven, deciding not to go in, would you place the future in the hands of God truly, or just wait outside, keep a little scrap of fear and pain, would you give over every one of your thoughts to this idea? that you place everything in the hands of love. You place the future in the hands of God. Now are we saved indeed, for in God's hands we rest untroubled, sure that only good can come to us, and if we forget we will be gently reassured, if we accept an unforgiving thought it will soon be replaced by love's reflection, and if we are tempted to attack we will appeal to him who guards our rest to make the choice for us to leave temptation far behind. 
no longer is the world our enemy, for we have chosen that we be its friend. Just imagine there is a loving spirit with you always, always redirecting your mind, always asking you, just turn over this thought to me, turn over this thought to me, and it will be replaced by love's reflection. Whenever you're attempted to attack, a little willingness in you that is enough, it will be accepted just to give it over, to accept that you're wrong, not that you're guilty, but that you're wrong because you don't want to be in pain anymore. You don't want to blame the world. You want to take full responsibility for everything because it never really did anything to you, the real you, the higher S self you, your spirit self never could be harmed or hurt and nothing the world has done or ever will do can ever change who you are. I place the future in the hands of God. 